get started. We are going to be using a disposable cup and socks. So first you're gonna cover up the cup with one of the socks. I started with the black one and make sure that sock is inside out, okay? So you've got the wrong side of the fabric facing you. And then we're going to use a hot glue gun to glue the polyfill fiberfill onto the sock. Now the reason we're doing this is that since this is reversible, the, the stuffing kind of moves around. So by lightly gluing it on, we're gonna keep that fluff evenly distributed as much as we can. Once we're done gluing the fiberfill on, we're gonna take the other sock and this is a little challenge, but we're going to stretch it over the fluff. Now this time we want the right side of the sock out, the side that we want to show. So you're just gonna have to carefully manipulate it over the cup. It helps if you're using a plastic cup because it can crumple a little and give you some room to work with. So just slowly ease it in there. Um, try to keep the fluff as evenly distributed as possible. Now I'm just going around the edges and making sure I've got all the fluff tucked in between the two socks. Now if you have any excess sock material, you can trim it off using the bottom of the cup as kind of your guideline and just snip around the edge until that extra sock material is gone. Now it's time to start sewing. All we're gonna do is a stitch around the bottom there to join the two socks together and make a fluff sandwich in between the two socks. Once we're done sewing, we can pull out that cup. We don't need it anymore. And if you pulled a little too much on the top like I did, you're gonna wanna rearrange the fluff to give the sock plushie its shape again. Now I want to flip it inside out just to make sure that it's going to work out the way I want it to. And it works! Yay! For the panda side of the face, I had cut two eyes from black fabric and you, I'm showing you there some of the paints that I used and the glues that I used to assemble the face and hold everything together. Once that's dried, I can flip this inside out and get started on the penguin side. For the penguin, I'm going to be using the toe end of a sock to make, you know, his little belly there. And then I will be stitching that on. I've also cut some circles from fabric. I use the sock fabric and since it's so messy, I painted it with white fabric paint to keep it from fraying, but you could also use felt fabric so it won't be so messy. And I've painted a little yellow beak to put on the penguin. I'm just gonna stitch the belly of the penguin in place and then I can use my fabric glue to add the eyes and the beak to his cute little face. it's all done now it's time to play and have fun with it my kids really like the fact that it's a plushie and it's kind of a puppet you can stick your hand in there and use it for a fun little puppet show and because it's so fluffy you can even bounce it like a ball there's lots of fun ways to play with this reversible sock plushie
Be sure to check out my sock angel video for more sock crafts.